One year for the approval of GDPR in May 2018, which are the main differences between public administration and enterprise in terms of compliance in Europe as a whole? Well, I mean, obviously, I think um, under GDPR there has been a, you know, a mandatory requirement for public public organizations to appoint a DPO, um, which is not necessarily the case for enterprise. Um, for enterprises, it's it's more a case of, um, in terms of how data driven the business models are and and how they're using data in, in, as part of their, their business strategy, which defines appointing DPOs. But I think certainly we've seen over the last year, we've seen a, a, a greater appointment of DPOs in both the private as well as public sector. Um, and I think that's uh, you know, a, a reflection of um, a greater understanding um, and, a, and a greater sense of confidence uh, with the GDPR as a whole. There is a very delicate topic about the relationship between data protection and students. We have uh, thousands and thousands of schools and millions of uh, students in Europe. Sure. How we may manage in terms of GDPR compliance, how we may help uh, schools to manage in the best way the data coming from students and parents? Well, obviously, I mean, student, uh, student data is obviously very important because obviously, as, as by definition, students are minors. Um, so I think, uh, in effect, what I've noticed, um, and, I, and I've met with a couple of um, uh, privacy professionals around Europe who serve as acting DPOs for schools. Um, so I think it's important that schools in general, um, be they public sector or private sector, they are obviously bound by the GDPR as well, uh, certainly in terms of, of student data. So I think it's important that um, they take the necessary steps to ensure that they are compliant and that they are working with, with professionals in order to, to seek that compliance which is, in your opinion, the main focal point for enterprises in the next future in terms of GDPR compliance? Okay, so GDPR compliance has been obviously a, a, a very, um, or a growing uh, topic uh, for, for companies and for boards of directors and companies. Um, certainly the data shows that it is being accepted as a strategic uh, element uh, to business strategy. And so what I think, um, what we're seeing now in the, in, the, in, the, in the last 12 months, more or less, and certainly post-GDPR uh, coming into force, so the 25th of May 2018, there's a, a great emphasis on looking at supply chain, um, how to um, do vendor management, ensure that the relationships between uh, controllers and processors are, are GDPR compliant. Privacy by design is also a, a major feature and a major priority for companies going forward in 2019. Organizations will be looking to how, you know, how to apply privacy by design and by default within their organizations to, to enhance the culture, the organizational culture of organizations. Um, these are really the two, two main topics. Um, and obviously I think um, you know, as a requirement under, uh, uh, under GDPR for sensitive data processing, um, you know, the, putting in place data protection impact assessments, DPIAs, doing the necessary audits internally uh, will be a very important aspect, but also um, for business continuity, every time there are new initiatives within organizations, there is a, there is a, a requirement to a degree to do a privacy impact assessment on, on how you're managing data with regards to those initiatives. So I think those are really the primary uh, priorities for organizations uh, for the foreseeable future.